Hi guys, this is Adam and welcome to the third tutorial of our CSV uploader series. Um, in this tutorial I will focus on view. Um, so, open view and we will focus on the home. So the first uh, page by default when you create a new ASP MVC free. Um, so click index. Um, and we don't want this. Maybe just in the paragraph we can call it um, call it upload your file or something like that. Um, okay, and then uh, we we want to have some kind of uh, form so we will we can have uh, um, our uh, uploader to be ready. So say form. Um, action in this case, uh, we we're not calling an action, so action is empty. Uh, method is um, in this case post. IntelliSense is amazing with Visual Studio and works pretty good. Um, and type um, is multi-part form data. And inside the form. Um, we want to have a table, uh, so let's create a simple table. Uh, maybe add style, uh, probably margin, uh, margin top. Let's say 150 pixels, which is okay. Uh, close the table here. Just move the table a bit. That's cool. That's too much space. Hate it. Okay. Um, on table row and our table data. In first table data uh, we'll have a label so we'll have a label uh, for our file so label for file um, and let's call it file file name. In our second table data um, We'll have input type, oops, uh, input type um, file, and uh, name uh, file as well. Let's give it the same ID of file. And the last thing we need to have, we need to have some sort of uh, uh, submit button so create another table data uh, input type equals submit um, let's call it value upload so this is the something that will be displayed for our user as a, uh, so this will va uh, upload will be displayed in our button um, that's it so let's test the application and obviously at the moment you will just probably see um, oh, I haven't closed the input so let's start the application let's browse and uh, in my case I saved the file um, names to CSV so of course if I upload it now uh, nothing will happen because it, it doesn't go to controller. So in our next tutorial I will show you um, how to save this file um, locally and then read from the file and uh, grab all the necessary information from the CSV uh, file itself and display it on the view. Thanks guys for watching and see you on the next tutorial.